Brits of Torah this year is entitled Rachel's Commitment to the Truth, Willing to Give Up Everything for It. The Gemara Megillah has a dialogue between Rachel and Yaakov, where they meet each other, they want to get married. Yud Gimel on the bed in the Gemara Megillah, they want to get married. And Rachel says, you're not going to be able to pull this off with my uh, father. He does a lot of shticks. So Yaakov says, Achi Avia, I am the brother of your father. He's not the brother, he's truly the son of Lavan's sister. Lavan's sister's Rivka, Yaakov's the son, not the brother. So the Gemara says he's a brother in terms of I could roll on the gutter with him and I could do shticks too. And I could work it away to get you as my wife from him. So Rachel says, and that's permissible? Be allowed to do that? To go ahead and get down to his level? So according to the Gemara, Yaakov says, yes, it is. Quotes a Pasuk in Tehillim where there's times that you could go ahead. Where they certainly I'm entitled to have you as a wife. You can't stop that in any way. We're going to build up the Shvatim. And I'm allowed to go ahead and roll the gutter with him a little bit if that's what's needed. So Rachel heard his Svara and she agreed to it. So Rehenach Leibowitz and Parshat Bo. Vishalu now he talks about the Jews not lying when they asked for gold and silver and the importance to be committed to truth. He also quotes the Gemara on Rachel and Yaakov, the Gemara Megillah here, and he says, look at this, look what's going on. Rachel at first thought that there's zero leeway to go ahead and play a shtick on a person, even for the noble goal of marrying Yaakov and to go ahead and to start the Shvatim. Still, she says no. And she's willing to give her whole life up. Being Yaakov's wife, raising his children, being part of the Shvatim, being part of the Mesorah. At this point in the Gemara, she's going to give it up. Why? Because I can't go ahead and achieve marriage with you, Yaakov, in an illegitimate way. An illegitimate way doesn't mean that she's not allowed to marry him. It means doing a shtick with her father. Until Yaakov convinces her, no, there are certain times that you are allowed. So it's an unbelievable lesson. In MS, commitment to MS, as I said previously, in previous Shirim, there may be times that person can lie, and maybe even play shticks, maybe. But without talking to a posek, whether this is one of those times, a person must assume MS guided by Emmas and being yasher and straight and taupe and not doing shticks unless it's a specific permit that he or she received. To me this is an extraordinary lesson in Emmas, truth, an amazing lesson regarding the greatness of Rachel. Next time a person goes to Kever Rachel and is daving to Hashem, that maybe in Hazachot Hashem should answer you in Tatfilot. I think we should think about this merit as well. And then make sure we embrace this incredible quality also. Shalom.